New to Notion and not sure where to start? Try adding templates to your workspace. These powerful databases will help you jumpstart page creation and inspire you to create your own Notion workflows. They are a launching pad for the solid and efficient workspace you will eventually build for your team. Here's how to add a template to your workspace. In your sidebar, click on the Templates button and you will be taken to the Template Picker, a space that houses a curated selection of templates ready for you to use. An alternative way to access the Template Picker is by selecting the Templates option when creating a new page. To the left of the Templates menu, you'll notice another sidebar containing Notion templates. We specifically recommend these database-powered templates at the top, as these can set you up for long-term success in Notion. To-do list, projects and tasks, and projects, tasks, and sprints will help you manage work at differing levels of granularity, while meetings and docs provide a comprehensive view of work happening inside your team. Click on any template to see what it could look like in your workspace. Scroll down to see more. Here, you can schedule and track the status of your user research, while this team wiki shows you optimal ways to organize pages for your team. Alternatively, this setup can help you quickly track applicants during the interview process, complete with each candidate's skills, interview notes, contact information, and more. Use the template search bar to find a template you might have in mind. Select your role here and browse templates that are relevant to you. Once you find something of interest, simply hit the Get Template button. You will be prompted to add your page to one of the team spaces of which you are a member, or simply add it to the private section of your sidebar. In this case, let's add projects and tasks to the general team space of our workspace, like so. Remember that anyone in your workspace can access pages in the general section based on the team space permissions. This video will explain more. Two new databases, one named Projects and the other one named Tasks, are now added to your TeamSpace sidebar. Click on each to view their content. As you can see, this Tasks database lets you view the tasks in many different ways. For instance, you can have a table list out tasks grouped by project, as well as a table show the tasks that are assigned to you. With the added benefit of checking the box to the left to mark a task as complete. This view deemed people groups the same tasks according to the people carrying them out. Now, this particular database already boasts four properties. Properties are pieces of information about each database entry, and they can come in many shapes or forms, like text, numbers, dates, or people. The more properties you add, the more options you'll have for organizing the pages in a database. To add a property, you'll need to click on your database's three-dot menu, then go to Properties and hit New Property. You can choose your new property from this dropdown, which lists both basic and advanced properties. But you'll also find a list of suggested properties. These are things that we think will make your project management experience in Notion smoother. This priority property, for example, is a single select property whose suggested tags you can already set up with a click of a mouse. If you pick low, medium, high, the property will be added to your table, complete with its already existing name and options to select from. Keep in mind that properties are highly customizable. For instance, you could change the name and color of every one of these tags and add more by simply typing their name here, then hitting Create. If you're new to Notion, you can start working with this template as it is. If you want to customize your project management even further, you may use these as a jumping off point and add more custom properties if you feel the need. Aside from organizing your data around properties, Notion databases allow you to store infinite amounts of content inside every one of your database entries. If you click on any database entry, you'll see that they are in fact Notion pages in themselves, capable of hosting text, images, videos, but also other Notion pages. This means that work can stay within the same database, making things easy to find for everyone involved. Just like in a regular Notion page, you can leave comments directly inside the body of the page. Click here to open the page in full view. The section at the very top of a Notion database page is dedicated to properties. You can see it as a form to fill out about your database entry. Let us demonstrate. For clarity purposes, we'll rename this project Help Center Revamp, a possible project our team could be tackling. First, let's determine the status of the project. Click on the space next to Status and choose it from the list. Next, we can assign people to the project. Click next to the property, 
look up the name of your teammates, and when they show up, click on them or press Enter. To show the duration of the project, click on the empty space next to Dates. This calendar will pop up, and you can select a start date, then toggle End Dates like so, and pick an end date for your project. To save your changes, simply click out of the calendar. Now, this more advanced property is called a relation property. Briefly put, relation properties allow you to link an entry from one database to an entry or entries from another database. In this case, this help center revamp entry from the projects database is currently linked to these two entries from the tasks database. Remember that this tasks database is a template that was added to the workspace at the same time as the projects database. In the tasks database, we can also see that both tasks are linked to the Help Center revamp project via the same relation property. To paint a clearer picture, let's rename these to possible tasks that could be associated to Help Center revamp. Now let's go back to the Help Center revamp page, which you can access from here. And click on the plus sign next to any task to add more related tasks. Look up the name of a task and select it with your mouse. You can also create a new task from here. Type the name of your new task and click on the New option below. This will create a new database entry in the Tasks database and link said entry to this one. These four tasks are now linked to the Help Center revamp project, and clicking on each will bring you directly to their page content. You won't need to look them up inside the Tasks database. To learn more about relation properties, you can have a look at this video. Now, if you scroll down your project page, you'll also notice that all Help Center revamp-related tasks now appear inside this linked database view. This way, you won't have to travel to the Tasks database to get an overview of your project's tasks and properties. You can simply look at them here. For more on linked databases, check out this tutorial. Finally, this completion property is built into the template by default, and it calculates the percentage of tasks marked as done. In the case of this Help Center revamp, one task out of four is completed, which makes for a completion of 25%. Now, if we were to mark another task as done, the completion rate would update accordingly. That's all for now. Note that you can also consult our public template gallery at all times by clicking on More from the Community at the bottom of the template sidebar. This will take you to a created list of templates built by us, as well as our wonderful community of users, including leading startups and influencers a catalog to learn and get inspired from. The database-powered templates we showed you are ways to help you build a solid workflow for your team, while showing you the merits of means you can use Notion to grow. We encourage you to add as many as you like and customize them to meet your every need. Once those are built, you can enjoy your brand new work setup with your teammates and go on to do better what you do best. Good luck!